Here at the International Symposium on ALS and MND in Orlando, we have seen some really exciting research that shows that some real progress is happening thanks to the huge amount of fundraising that has happened over previous years in terms of the Ice Bucket Challenge and various other donations to associations like the ALS Association. Some of the really exciting research makes me very hopeful that in perhaps in the next five to ten years we will see real uh, benefits to patients and real uh, developments in terms of how we might treat and manage this disease and it's really exciting to be part of it here today. Some of the cleverest people with the best ideas that you will meet in science are PhD students. And one of the hardest things for a PhD student is to be able to continue on their ideas immediately once they have their PhD. When I was awarded a Milton Stefanowitz postdoctoral fellowship for ALS research, it provided me with a wonderful opportunity to develop the ideas that I had begun in my PhD research into my scientific career. These ideas will hopefully help us to understand the genetic basis of ALS further which will one day lead to a cure. If we want to cure ALS, we first have to understand ALS. There's good evidence to suggest that there's a strong genetic basis to the disease, and my research focuses on trying to find out which genes cause ALS and how ALS relates to other related conditions genetically.